Hello, this is Ishmael Zadi and welcome to my Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to display an element of an um, a J combo um, box, the elements within the list. So when you click on something and view it, it would view on a text file or um, the Eclipse console. So uh, in this case, I'm going to do it in the Eclipse console. However, I decided decided to write down a code which is for those who are looking for um, to add it to a text so yeah I'm gonna get started Whew. it's uh, a very early morning for me it's 4 a.m. or I say 336 probably probably some of you thinking what a liar anyways you start for the string because we want to display um, the the component as a string so we got string name I want for countries so yeah uh, name C which is for country name city all right so um, yeah so I got two arrays one for country and one for C um, I chose United Kingdom I chose the you know capital London capital of England which is London and uh, Northern Ireland Belfast and Wales Cardiff and you get the point. <laughs> so when you uh, when you create a J combo uh, combo box, you assign it to an array that you declare above here or whatever. Uh, and yeah, so um, in this tutorial, I'm going to use a item listener. So we go J add item listener. So this is when we. Um, it would scan anything that we do when we click on something so yeah we go this we do this um, we're gonna write this <laughs> and it's complaining because I did not implement it however there are multiple ways of you know doing it but I'm gonna do it the, sh the short way because if we go new item listener you know blah 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 it's gonna look very messy I don't usually do it but you know people do use it but yeah so we go up over here um, item listener and it's complaining control shift M and it imports it control shift M imports uh, any missing imports that you're declaring so yeah that's a good shortcut. Um, yeah, you know me. I'm the type of person that looks for shortcuts, and I'm just lazy. <laughs> All right, so um, we have to declare a method. So public void item state changed item event e. Okay. Whoop. Let's stop there. And I did not import that. Control Shift M. Um, this tutorial will be very useful for you know college or I don't know university students when if they want to you know do a drop down list and you know display data what have you. But yeah, so if the event get the state which is uh, which is null in this case because you didn't click anything if it does equal item event selected when we do select a, a element what we what we want to do is uh, set it to the array so we go name C equals um, string and what did I name that J get selected item Woo! Should work. Uh, copy and paste it. We're going to do it for the other one. J1 and city. If we did it the other way, which is new, means that we're going to have to do it for the other one as well. So you're going to have to keep copy and pasting. So, but this will just save you time. So you just declare it in one method. <laughs> so yeah, now. We want to make it viewable, so that's why. So, control space, uh, country colon plus uh, name C. 
plus um, city colon plus plus what name city okay so run it go down here uh, let's select Spain in other tutorial I will probably be doing uh, when we do cl click on Spain the, the array of this will change into you know uh, realistic cities because you know London is not in Spain <laughs> anyway, I'll just like show Barcelona and Madrid and Valencia and you get the point <laughs> uh, so we go view so if you use it there BAM so we change it we can go United Kingdom something realistic capital of Scotland and yeah so that's it for this tutorial if you do wish to view it on a text file just apply this and you're good to go so that's it for this, this tutorial it's all about the item listener you implement it so you can you know control the action when you do click on the the menu it used it so that's it and thank you very much